We are responsible for collecting uh, garbage from residential customers and commercial customers and also recycling for residential customers and then hauling that collected material to either the landfill or the re recyclers. Our most recent uh, expansion was in, in July. We have one more expansion that's uh, coming up. It's in January and that would be Area 8. And the reason it's called Area 8 is because there are eight areas of garbage. So then we converted eight areas into re recycling. Well, first of all, everybody uh, is doing this. And also part of our requirements with the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality is that we uh, divert some of the collected um, materials to uh, re recycling. So it, it's a good faith effort. It's uh, to save um, our earth from more landfills being built and also to uh, you know, realize that there's plenty of materials out there that could be remanufactured and uh, turned into yet another milk jug. The way it affects the city, it's based really on the participation. Uh, we have uh, just as many uh, active and enthusiastic re recyclers to some people who feel that they don't produce even enough garbage to even try to have a re recycler, uh, recycling bin. So if we can encourage um, uh, all ages, it's not just a matter of training the new kids or the young children, uh, it's also, you know, Huntsville has a, a lot of uh, uh, retired uh, uh, customers. And so we, I know they come from other cities where maybe it's already there. So it's been an easier tr transition for them. Lots of things can be recycled. Um, newspapers, magazines, cardboard boxes, aluminum cans, say from your vegetables, uh, aluminum, uh, that's metal cans, aluminum cans, say from your soft drinks. Um, we also take uh, office paper and newspaper. Um, plastic bottles from water are probably our biggest uh, item that we re receive. And, um, and we do take glass, but we take glass out here at the, at the drop-off center. We do our best to uh, visit with customers who our drivers report are not putting the right materials in there. We'll send them little flyers and we'll give them a call to try to encourage them to do the right thing. Sometimes they just aren't aware of what goes in, in there. The drop-off center is open to anyone. Uh, it's open uh, six days a week from 7.30 to 5. We take every one of those items that you could put in your uh, recycling cart at curbside and some, some more. So we take glass, we take clear glass, brown glass, and green glass. We also take oil from, say, if you changed out the oil in your car, and cooking oil and antifreeze. So there's a lot of other things that we can take here. And we've, um, we thought initially that the, the uh, activity there would drop down drastically, but it really hasn't because the drop-off center serves the c community. And there's a lot of citizens who do not live in the city limits, who work in the city limits. And we have many more visitors from uh, out of town. I mean, we have customers from Madisonville who work in Huntsville who bring their re recycling to us. So that's very in encouraging. And uh, so the numbers dropped down just a little, but not like we had anticipated, which is still, it, we see it as a, a positive. The Trash Bash is an annual cleanup event for the com community, so it's worked uh, by uh, the county and city staff, and we have many volunteers from uh, the Walker County Jail, Walker County Adult Probation, Master Gardeners, uh, so there's a lot of other groups, and right before that event, I get calls from u university or organizations that are trying to uh, complete some kind of a community service pr project. So. Um, they, you know, come out and, and help us out for a couple of hours.